Kosovo Men's Choir is a diverse mix of men from various ethnic backgrounds, all hailing from many parts of the United States and Canada. Each of them has a sincere love of the Orthodox religion and a deep respect for the spiritual and secular music. This collective love of the faith led them to organize a pilgrimage to Serbia and to their roots. Many countless hours were spent organizing, fundraising, and practicing for this trip. We would like to thank all the members of the Serbian community, both in America and Europe, that collaborated to make this journey a reality. We hope that you enjoy this video presentation of our trip. If we can say the visit was royal, like the first day and the mood of our hosts, family Kadar Djordjevic. Like in the last seven years, they opened the door of the White Palace for us. Palace is now home of the descendants of the great Kara Djordje, heir to the throne, Prince Alexander and his wife. Princess Katerina shared experiences of their move to Serbia in the year 2000, visits to Bill Gates, visit of Russian President Putin, and everything that nearly brought them to tears as they converted former palace complex into their home. He retained basic, almost museum character of the palace, to remind us on wishes and possibilities of mighty Alexander who built the complex in 1936. Mi smo prvi poseta danas i radim se imamo ovaj divni ljudi i želim sve najbolje njihove poseta u naša zemlja i ja sam čuo da ima vrlo interesantno plan da oni idu za nekoliko monasterije i tako dalje. From the big lobby full with Rembrandt's, Buzan's and Virgil's pictures, we entered into a library which had around 50,000 books and which still has a table overlaid with a dear letter. A colonnade of pillars connects the chapel with the royal palace, built in 1929. It was King Peter I's home and there are a lot of saloons which are used by his descendants. The red or magic saloon has a water wall and behind that wall were made very confidential conversations. Beside the palace there is a chapel dedicated to Saint Andrew the First called, who is protector and slava of the Karadjordjevic royal family. Exterior of the church is an imitation of Studenica Monastery and was built by Russian artists. All furniture from the palace, as well as buildings and churches and chapels on Dedinje, are under the protection of the law. Just as a reminder, the whole complex was confiscated in 1947 and then returned to the royal family in 2001.
choir was honored to visit Brachar and the church Temple of St. Sava, which is dedicated to St. Sava, the founder of the Serbian Orthodox Church. This is the largest Orthodox Church in the world and is built on Vračar Plateau, the highest point in downtown Belgrade. The name Vračar is derived from the Serbian word Vrač, meaning medicine man or healer. It is believed this is the location where in 1595 the Turkish Grand Vizier Sinan Pasha burned the remains of Saint Sava in an effort to pacify and punish a rebellious Serbian population. The building of this stunning church structure is being financed exclusively by donations. It has a surface area of 3,500 square meters on the ground floor. The cathedral can receive up to 10,000 faithful at any one time, and the choir gallery seats up to 800 singers. In the lower level of this beautiful structure is a crypt with the grave of Saul Lazar and the treasury of Saint Sava. The say that people that don't belong anywhere may best express themselves artistically. Our guests have two houses, two countries and two equal hymns, the residency of the American Embassy at Dedinje. Departure from Belgrade meant leaving most developed infrastructural and administrative center and equally a search for sacredness and symbols of the nation. The route led us to Valjevo, where guests were greeted by Stanko Terzic, vice mayor. <laughs> He informed the guests that between the mountains of Divčibare, Povlen, Medvednik, Jablanica and Malen lives the memory on famous creators Nikolai Velimirović, Matija Bečković, Mića Trnavac. We arrived in Lelić, memorial of Saint Nikolai Velimirović. Church is of a simple shape. It has the shape of a cross with a dome above central part of the church. It was built out of stone, brick and stalagmites. In front of the church is a large bell tower and the church house. Frescoes were made on the idea of Bishop Nicolai. Drawings are unusual and contain theological interpretations of Bishop Nicolai. The scene of the Last Judgment dominates above all other biblical events. On the 12th of May 1992, sacred remains of Bishop Nikolai were moved from Monastery St. Sava in Libertville, Illinois, USA, to the church in Lelic. There is a chapel in the churchyard of the monastery, also a memorial of Bishop Nikolai. Same year, a museum was opened in the monastery's churchyard dedicated to the memory of Bishop Nikolai, one of the brightest minds of the Serbian Orthodox Church. The 77th saint of the Serbian Orthodox Church was born in Lelic in 1880. After his education in Switzerland and England, he goes to Moscow. He entered the monasteric order in the monastery Rakovica in 1909 and 10 years later becomes Bishop of Žič. Bishop Nikolai and Patriarch Dožić were held captive in Ljubostinja concentration camp Dachau near Munich. Both were released in 1945. Afterwards, Nikolai leaves for Pennsylvania. He died in 1956 and was buried in Libertville in Chicago. There is an icon painting and wood carving school active in the monastery on 18th of May, the day of the saint died, and 3rd of May, date of moving of the sacred remains, are celebrated. 
there are few people who had a chance to meet Nicole. With unselfish help of Proto Zhivoin and his family, we have reached Chelia Monastery. According to historical records, monastery originates from medieval period and people relate its foundation for the King Dragutin, known as King of Srem, who has ruled this area from 1282 until 1360. During long and hard slavery, under the Turks monastery has been destroyed and burned but then again rebuilt. It had significant role for Valjevo area during the 18th century. In the 19th century, first elementary school has been founded in Celje, which was one of the first schools in Serbia under the rule of Miloš Obrenović. This was the school where Bishop Nikolai Velimirović learned the first letters and he had Celje in his heart for whole life as his first love for the God and Serbian people. From 1837 till 1928, monastery has been turned into parish church and in 1928 become woman monastery by the conclusion of Saint Synod. Celje Monastery is also well known by the famous theologist and the doctor for philosophy Justin Popović, who was parson in monastery from 1948 until he died in 1979. He was buried on the left from the altar and the Duke Ilya Birchanin is buried on the port of the monastery. In the village of Sirogoino, respite was waiting. Sirogoino is settled on the mountain of Zlatibor, famous tourist destination in western Serbia, 250 kilometers southwest from Belgrade, on the main highway connecting Belgrade and Adriatic coast. The closest city, Užice, is 30 kilometers away. Old village, open museum under the stars represents old Zlatibor village. Houses and all other wooden buildings collected from all pictorial, musical and other events such as exhibitions, lectures, summer schools are organized in Sirovina. Taste of Kaimak is something to remember for a long time. And here we are in Mechanik. World famous film director Emir Kusturica built a small ethno village and he is still building it. He made his movie Life is a Miracle in this improvised village, which is characteristic by winds and rain, as the name of the mountain is Mokragora, or in English, Wet Mountain. Wooden houses are typical for that area, and you can smell the spirit of the people from around Zlatibor and Stara Mountain. Beside the guest houses, there is a small chapel dedicated to St. Sada, a restaurant, cinema and concert hall. Mechanik is also a place that is reserved for summer workshops for Kusturica students from all over the world. We were so very close to the stars. Or we became stars. One of the most touching moments on our journey was concept on Mechanik. But we will talk about that after a short drive through history. All 14 days in Serbia we spent on the road. While we were at Mokragora, most of us enjoyed riding the famous railway train, Shagan 8, the only remaining narrow gauge railway in the world, which had